This is Spain's Rafa Cabrera Bayo. He's uh, playing the par four ninth hole. Yeah, a bit of a mixed bag today. Four birdies and a couple of bogeys. This might help though. Beautiful shot. Here's Rafa Cabrera Bayo. T forward at this shortish par for 13 hole and a delightful touch, as you'd expect from the Spaniard. Every chance of him moving to 10 under. enjoyed being here it's a lovely part of the world it really is very lucky to have grown up in with this sort of scenery the spectacular moa cliffs and the baron and all sorts mark james is back with us as we watch rafael cabrera bayo at the 15th yeah he's swinging lovely too isn't he doing well last time out was his third at the bmw uh, really into it on that around that green, aren't they? One of us was talking to it wasn't me to talking to the locals earlier in the week, and uh, the local reckoned that the winning score would be about minus one. Yes. Was it you? Yes, I bumped into this chip. <laughs> what do you reckon? The winning score? Right? They reckon about one under par. Okay, well, Paul McGinley reckoned about. 10 to 15 under par would we'll probably get the job done, but there was a little bit more wind forecast. Nice touch from Rafa Cabrera Bayo there at 15. Cabrera Bayo for par at 15. Yeah, yeah nicely done. She watched his head there and he actually picked at that as he actually hit made impact there. It was quite amazing. I don't often see that with golfers, but he did a little peek at that as he came through the ball. Very experienced caddy on the bag, Colin. Just looking just left of this one. Yeah, nice controlled shot. A look at Birdie. Scotland a couple of years ago and apart from that really he's not one enough for me he's too good a player right a cup player there you go centre cup it's that flat stick working he's the sort of guy that should be winning twice a season no question about it far too good to be coming second he shot a 60 as well to win in Vienna there a few years ago really okay so he knows how to go low but this has been a good round for him today Currently six under. Oh! Out to the 18th, and Rafa Cabrera Bayo coming towards the end of his day's work. Looking for one more birdie. Cabrera Bayo. A little bit of a downslope here. Might just help him stay aggressive. Sometimes that's a nice thing with a downslope when you're pitching with a lot of green in front of you. Just keeps the ball running at the hole aggressively. Very hard to hit. Halfway up the green. Play out well. Just they all appreciated that was good. He's got a chance for his ninth birdie of the round. Yes. What a beautiful round of golf today. He's been in the top ten four times in his last seven appearances at the Irish Open. And he looks in good shape to have another great week and possibly a victory. So beautifully done from Rafa Cabrera Bayo.
accepting the congratulations of his playing partner, the defending champion, Russell Knox. Rafa well played special 63, lovely up and down at 18 as well to finish with a birdie. Just overall, how do you sum up today? Yeah, thank you. I mean, uh, obviously a great day, a uh, great moving, uh, moving day. I, I felt I played really good, uh, especially uh, around the greens. I mean, I, I made myself, uh, I mean, I, I made some really, really nice up and downs, uh, including the one on 18. And, and I think that's what really made the difference from a, from a good round that it would have been to a, to a really good one. Yeah. You see the day, the score as it is, whether obviously the golf course is pretty receptive, but you still got to go out there and, and do the job. How do you kind of put that into perspective in your mind that you know the opportunities are there, but you've still got to go out and execute the shots? Yeah, I mean, I think that we get used to every every day, really, or, or particularly every Saturday. You know, when when you're when you're chasing, uh, you you always want to to go and have a good one, but you have to understand that it doesn't always happen. And, and really what I just tried to do today is just play one shot at a time and uh, forget forget the score. To be fair, I I didn't know how many under I was till I signed the till I signed my scorecard. So I, I, I'm very proud that I managed to do that. Other times you're looking more at the leaderboard and, and doing some silly math that means nothing <laughs> and get distracted. But uh, today I just stay calm, I stay focused, play one shot at a time. Um, still made some mistakes, but uh, my, my short game was very nice today. Now you've seen that leaderboard, what's in your head into tomorrow? Well, right now just enjoy today, uh, do my, my cool down practice, uh, get my workout, uh, get a good dinner and then uh, tomorrow uh, when we get here, uh, just play one shot at a time again. Uh, again. Just very quickly, you obviously won the Scottish a couple of years ago. You obviously like this time of year. Nice run up to the Open. Clearly, it's obviously the Irish weather, Scottish weather, whatever it is, you enjoy it, don't you? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm from the Canary <laughs> Islands. I don't know how much of the Canary Islands weather we, we get normally in Scotland or Ireland. But uh, what I will say is I, I love playing Lynx golf. Yeah. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. Uh, the fact that there's not one shot to hit, that there's uh, many different ways to play the hole and, and that it brings out your, your imagination. Uh, as much as you can, especially uh, around the greens and, and hitting shots to the green. And, and I really enjoy that challenge. And uh, I think that's why I've had a bit of success uh, sometimes in, in Lynx <laughs> Golf before. Well executed today. Very well done. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Rafa. Thank you, sir. Thank you. To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.